Hello, this is Brother Teacher. This message is for you guys out there, you gentlemen, men. Every man is not a gentle man, but it's for you men in general. And it's about ghosting. When a woman ghosts you, what does it mean? And why is she doing it? What's the purpose? First of all, let's get to the core matter. What is ghosting? Ghosting is a newer term and or expression, uh, acronym possibly, uh, that has hit the uh, communication scene, uh, social media especially, you hear that term a lot over the past several years, where a woman doesn't give a man any attention but it appears as though she's giving him attention. In other words, let's say for example, you meet, you guys meet a lady, a young lady that you potentially like. She gives you her name, she gives you her phone number, and oftentimes out of just being polite, being kind, nice to you, but she really does not have any intentions of ever hooking up with you, but she gives you the impression that she is, or may hook up with you at some point in time. I don't think uh, all women are mean and nasty, but there are those types of women out there. So, back to ghosting. You meet a young lady, middle-aged lady, or even older lady, guys, and you say, hey, how are you doing today? I'm fine, what's your name? Whatever her name is. Uh, do you have a number? Am I having a number? And she'll say yes, and she'll give you a number. And after the casual conversation, maybe five minutes, could be longer, you depart. So you text her. She may, at first, respond to the text. You say, hey, this is John. She said, oh, hi. Uh, John from where? And he said, oh, I'm the John that you met at the convenience store on the corner the other day. She said, oh, how have you been? How are you? This is the text response from her. And then you go on and you say, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just sitting here watching TV or what have you, or even eating. So okay. So you text back and forth for few minutes and say, well, I'll talk to you later. It's over. Maybe later on that day, you might text again towards the evening hours if it's in the daytime. And she might respond by virtue of a text again. Oh, okay, I'm busy right now, will be her response. I'll text you later. And then, after you told her, okay, you stop texting. The next day, you text her again. This time, you're getting a response. All right, you let it go. Maybe later on in that day, you'll attempt to text her again. No response. So you stop. Give it a couple days, maybe. You call her on the phone, and she doesn't answer the phone. All right, you give her the rest that day as well. The next day, you send her a text and say, hey, this is John again. Uh, I just called to say hi to you, see what you were doing, what you were up to and so forth. And you get no response. Anytime you meet someone, a woman, and you have what appears to be a nice introduction She's kind to you, she's sweet to you initially, and you exchange numbers, and you attempt to communicate with her. Maybe the first time, the second time she will respond by way of message, text message that is, or a phone call. Once she knows who you are, if she does not have any real or true interest in you, she won't respond at all again. She'll not answer her phone. She will not answer her text messages. 
this is a sign of ghosting this is called ghosting she gives you the impression that she may be into you she gives the impression that there could potentially be something between you and her and as often as you text as often as you call she still does not respond and let's say a week has passed and you've only communicated with her twice out of that week four times out of that week and then nothing else it just goes dead or dry guess what chances are you have been ghosted this woman has no interest in you whatsoever that happenstance was just pure happenstance when you met her initially she was just being courteous just being kind didn't want to hurt your feelings so her way of not communicating with you directly it's just by simply not calling you simply by not responding to your text messages or to your phone calls she's not interested guys in this particular instance this situation don't try to call her again and use this as a marker for any potential meetings with women in the future that's a sign of ghosting again so women are not interested in you when you initially meet them that's the number one sign them not returning your calls them not uh, returning your text and them not responding to your calls and your text they're ghosting you they're not interested now let me tell you something else push come to shove they will change their phone number in hopes that they never run into you again So guys, when a woman ghosts you, it's intentional. She doesn't want confrontation. She's not used to it or she doesn't like the feeling of having to confront you directly and say, I'm not interested in you. Don't care about you. Don't want to have a relationship with you. So that's her way of acquiescing or backing away from the situation by simply not uh, talking to you, texting you, cutting off the line of communication with you period hoping again not to see you again so believe this uh, if she's ghosted you she's experienced a ghosting she's done that with many guys and she probably continues to do that with many guys at the same time so she's probably confused oftentimes she probably just doesn't really know what she needs in terms of a real man in her life or she just doesn't want to be bothered she could even be uh, a lesbian or she could just simply uh, be searching trying to find the right person and you may not be her fit that's really it so have I been ghosted absolutely uh, I'll answer that question in my lifetime I've been ghosted many times uh, young ladies have given me their phone number for some reason or another and uh, I text them the first time they said oh who is this and I tell them who I was and they said, oh yeah how you doing and so on and so forth after a couple of attempts and, and it was nothing sexually it was uh, just me trying to befriend them you know because of our initial uh, meeting if you will and uh, I found out that it, they, they were not interested at all in conversation and uh, I just found it to be true they were not interested at all in me calling them back period or trying to contact them so I just stopped doing that it was a hard lesson to learn because it happened a few times in my life and I didn't know the term ghosting at the time until much later but basically just ignoring you and not interested in you is the conclusion of the whole matter they just don't want to be bothered so um, you gentlemen just simply beware uh, if you're interested uh, in a meaningful relationship with a woman, lay it on the table in the beginning and ask her where she's coming from. Hopefully, she will stand up to it and say, I'm not interested or I'm with somebody, even if she has to lie. Just leave it at that. But don't worry your patience and don't continue to waste your time 
with a woman who doesn't want any of your time. This is Brother Teacher. What do you think? And by the way, uh, if you've been ghosted, past or even present, let us know that as well. You can share that experience. I'm out.